Good morning. That's some good coffee. Hi, welcome back. So uh, this video is gonna be about something that I think is a lot of fun. Uh, something that's a tad controversial and something that people are asking a lot of questions about. And that is biohacking. What biohacking is today, to most people at least, is uh, the RFID chip implants that you can implant into your hand, which I have done in my left hand. Uh, that has caused a lot of controversy. People are freaking out, uh, thinking that, oh my God, you're being tracked by the government. So I thought I'd just make a video to, to set the record straight about the chip and to talk a bit about what I use it for as well as what it could potentially be used for in the future. So one of the most frequent questions I get asked is, can you be tracked by the government? And uh, since this chip, I can't speak to every chip in the world. Uh, this chip is a passive chip, it's NFC. It operates at a 13.56 megahertz frequency and it's passive. What I mean by saying it's passive is that you don't write functionality into this chip. You can only read it. It has a unique ID and that is the ID that you can then uh, put into different types of systems, which allows you to have functionality through your chip, but it's not the chip itself that has the functions. Does that make sense? The reason why I have mine on the left arm is because when you're driving in Sweden, you sit on the left hand side and if you would go into a parking garage, you will use your left hand to scan so that you can get in. That's why I have it on my left hand. Uh, that is one of the many use cases for chips is that it enables you to open doors. However, just because that you have a chip doesn't necessarily mean that the specific scanner in your door will work with this chip. So that is something you have to look up in advance. But that is one usability. Uh, another thing you can use it for, which I use quite frequently, because I'm really bad at keeping my cards in my wallet. So every now and then I tend to lose my gym card, for example. Uh, I just uh, use my unique ID and put it in their system. So instead of having a card with me when I go to the gym, I can just scan my hand. Works like a charm. Uh, my third most frequent usage of my chip is uh, since I go to a lot of different types of events, both for my work, where we attend stuff like Web Summit or Slush, or in my uh, other life, my game life, where I attend events like Dreamhack or Gamescom or E3 or something like that, uh, it allows me to never have to bring business cards because uh, what I've done is I've inserted a passive link into my chip so whenever someone asks me for my business card, I instead have them scan my hand and that, that takes them directly to my LinkedIn page. That has been a, a great party trick. Uh, it's also been very helpful since I don't, I don't like business cards. Uh, I don't like carrying things around. Uh, in Sweden, we also have something called SJLAB, which means that you can put your train tickets in your chip. Uh, or the the big uh, metro conglomerates, can I call them that? I don't know, are also looking into uh, changing their scanners to enable people to travel with chip instead of having their uh, bus card. Uh, but I haven't tried those out for myself yet and I don't know where in the process they are, so um, I'm not gonna speak to that. But there are a number of cool ways to use this. Uh, another thing that they're looking into is payments. Uh, I think that it's too much of a security risk right now, but let's see what happens in the future. So some of the most common questions that I get uh, besides the tracking parts is if I can go through airport security without it going off. And so far, uh, I've not had any problem with that. Uh, the side of this chip is about a rice grain, which means it's not very big and I, I haven't even heard that anyone else has been stuck in the airport, so that's good. Second question I get very used uh, commonly is if it hurts. And I mean, if you've ever gotten a belly button ring, if you've gotten a piercing, that's, that's about the same level of pain. 
third most common question is if it can move up your body uh, through your veins and like kill you <laughs> and from far as I know and I'm not an expert uh, they're covered in something that's called uh, um, a bio bond uh, which basically sticks it into your skin when you insert it so uh, although there are probably cases where chips have wandered uh, I haven't heard about it myself and mine has stayed in the same place as it is where I got it thank you for watching uh, a very short video let me know if you have any other questions and I'll do my best to answer them or direct you to a better source mm, also uh, make sure that you're 18 years old before you go uh, get a chip because you have to be in Sweden at least and have a great day bye